The calculations uh, that my institute did and uh, generally most of the calculations did by independent researchers around the world, in part of Russia, uh, they show that the agreement should be should have positive impact. The smallest but quickest of the is a positive impact due to elimination of tariffs, but taking into account that the level of tariffs was not huge, uh, the impact is also small. For example, Ukrainian average tariff around for all countries in the WTO that have no preferential trade with Ukraine, has, the average tariff is 4%. It's absolutely clear that it's not the game changer. Uh, what is more important is uh, the elimination of non-tariff barriers, the uh, reform of customs services, which I didn't mention yet. Uh, it is the issue of trade facilitation that automatic uses of customs procedure, a lot of electronic documentation, single windows, same classifications, etc., etc., to ensure that the border is not a physical barrier because the estimates can come that 10 or more percent of costs come from these border controls. It's not the tariff, that's tax, but it's just the losses of time and energy to fulfill all controls. This will be simplified, which is very important. And also, as I said, harmonization of standards will also help to, to smooth trade. Plus, actually, the tra uh, these uh, trade facilitation issues will benefit Ukraine not in only in trade with European Union. We have other benefits in trade with uh, other countries because everybody has to cross the border if they want to trade. And also, harmonization of standards is important because a lot of countries around the world recognize European standards as um, provide a high level of safety, food safety or industrial product safety, and it means that the uh, entering this market will give uh, positive gains. Is it related to train gains that trade gains that can be measured and according to the estimates done by the Institute for Economic Research and Policy Consultant, which I represent, it's CG calculations, computable general equilibrium calculations, the uh, long-term gains from this removal of administrative barriers and non-tariff barriers can be about 12% of GDP. In addition to the current tra trajectory, it's without technological changes, without changes in business environment, without additional external investments. But what Ukraine actually expects is much faster growth due to uh, changes in the business climate, making it much more predictable, establishment of rule of law that makes the country much more attractive for investors, domestic or especially foreign, which would uh, bring modernization to the economy and will jumpstart the growth to much higher level. Because according to the current uh, estimates, the, uh, after almost four years of decline and very deep decline a couple, two years ago, in 2016 we had 2% uh, growth in real GDP, which is good. Uh, but actually way too low for, for Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine needs much faster growth given the deepness of the previous shocks and actually they need to to progress. So I hope that these, uh, not I, uh, I estimate or <laughs> my analysis shows that the year changes in the business climate can at least double or triple growth rates. That can be very positive sign for the economy. Although it's it's a combination of so many factors. The association agreement is a great positive stimulus, 